1913 to 1915, industry across America couldn't keep people working. Every the, the longevity turnover rate was 400 percent to 1100 percent a year. That meant that employees would get in and start and work for people, and they'd stay a month to maybe six weeks at the most, and then then move on. The way they found this out, that there was an organization called the Chicago Municipal Museum, and Howard Shaw was a part of it. They just did a study of workers in new industry to find out why they kept moving. They said lack of quality housing. Believe it or not, the amenities here were not common in 1915. So they found out what, and I'll give you an example. You may, your whole family may have one or two rooms in a tenement building. There might be public washrooms down the, the hall that everybody on that floor would use. You wouldn't have your own kitchen, or you may have a kitchen, but everybody slept in that one large room. There's some housing in East Chicago that's still that way today. So they came up with what they needed to define that problem so people would stay. Howard Shaw came up with the plan. The plan number one was quality, well-built homes that were fireproof. That they all have hot and cold running water, that they all have kitchens separate from living rooms, that most of them would have dining rooms, that there'd be a separate bedroom for the parents and a separate bedroom in most cases for boy children and girl children. Uh, that they had laundry facilities and basements. These were things that weren't common then. So they started to build Marktown in 1970. Trying to get everybody to just gather around a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna read a couple of proclamations. But uh, my name is Mayor Anthony Copeland. Uh, I want to tell you that uh, I've walked around and I've shook so many hands this morning. And the one thing I see over and over and over is some of the joy of some of the people going back reminiscing of I grew up here. And I was over here. Here. And uh, that's a joy that, that, that uh, you should treasure and pass on to the next generation. Um, but today we're here to celebrate Mark's Town 100 year celebration, centennial. Uh, they say I'm the mayor of East Chicago and we got present here, the mayor of Mark Town, Paul Myers. <laughs> I want to thank the committee. Uh, we have Kim here. Uh, I, Kim first brought me the idea that she wanted to have this celebration and everything. And I'm glad she, look, look, she's still in one piece because she was a nervous wreck. <laughs> uh, but again, like I say, we got food, refreshments here. Uh, I tell people the things that we must treasure is family and friends. And, and, and if you haven't seen somebody in a while, just hug them and tell them you love them. That goes a long way. But uh, we're going to turn this over to Kim. Uh, don't be nervous. Hey, I want to thank everyone for coming out. And I hope as the day goes on, we see a lot more people. Okay, um, we have a few proclamations that the city and the state have given us. So I'm going to hand the microphone off to Natalie, and she's going to read them for you. Okay, thank you again. I hope you have a wonderful day. they can say that. I just want to acknowledge um, a couple of uh, proclamations that we received. Thank you, Marino. Um, from State of Indiana, Indiana General Assembly House Proclamation adopted August 19, 2017. And this is from State Representative Earl Harris. Congressional 
congressional record proceedings and debates of the 115th Congress first session. Uh, Pete Boskowski recognizes historic Mount Marktown. And then I have the proclamation from the city of East Chicago. Marktown National Register of Historic Places. 1975 by Richard Morris Rowe, who I believe I saw here today. We all learn from the past. One way to do this is through books, but a better way is to learn from real objects and places that came down to us relatively intact from another time. Marktown represents a living lesson in history and culture from the pioneer growth of the Calumet region. This region, which is America's industrial heartland, is quite young compared to other great regions of this nation. Sometimes in such areas, the concern for history is lost, but here there is the opportunity to preserve the Marktown community as a living and useful landmark of genuine architectural and cultural significance for the Calumet region, the state, and the country. The Marktown area is an important cultural resource which should be restored to accurately present the intentions of the original design. Whereas neighborhoods through our nation, state, and city contribute significantly to the local vitality through housing, recreational areas, cultural experiences, and commercial services, and represent an important renewable resource, and whereas a major public investment is, re is, presented, is represented in streets, sidewalks, parks, schools, libraries, and historic public buildings in our neighborhoods, and whereas neighborhood conservation requires the goodwill, cooperation, and active support of residents, neighborhood merchants, businessmen, city officials, lenders, and preservationists, and whereas neighborhood conservation is designed to help revitalize neighborhoods and increase community pride amongst residents, and whereas preservation builds awareness among urban dwellers with the concerns of the neighborhood history, the city's heritage, and the economic benefits realized by initiating improvements and restoring a community to a thriving condition, and whereas an alliance between neighborhood conservation and historic preservation would help improve the quality of life in America's neighborhoods and historic districts, and whereas the community of Marktown is the city of East Chicago's only national historic district, thus making it a national historic district, and whereas keeping America's heritage alive through the restoration and preservation of this most unique and endangered of communities is in the best interest of the neighborhood, the city of East Chicago, the state of Indiana, and the United States of America. Now, therefore, Mayor Anthony Copeland, Mayor of East Chicago, Indiana, do hereby proclaim the day of Saturday, August 19, 2017, Marktown Centennial Celebration Day and call upon the people of East Chicago to join the residents in celebrating the centennial of the most unique community. In witness whereof, I have here, he is here to has set his hand and seal and affix the seal of the city of East Chicago, Indiana, this 19th day of August 2017. Anthony Copeland, Mayor of East Chicago. So much. I'm not, I, I see Paul walking this way with some um, plaques. And we're going to have um, something here. 
<laughs> I like to be referred to as the unofficial and unindicted mayor, but that's another story. <laughs> okay, I, I almost gave you the wrong one. This is the Danny Regardo in recognition of your lifelong devotion and dedication to the Markdown Historic District and the residents of this most unique and endangered of communities. This is from everyone. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. And the last one is Judy Hicks around. Oh, Judy! Judy Hicks ran this community center with a team of absolutely wonderful people. Uh, Miss Maria is here. Uh, we have the other Judy. We have two Judys and a lady. It was really quite nice. Uh, there are a lot of other people who work there that I didn't know. But as in Mary Sides worked there with her for a while. But there are a lot of volunteers and Judy and Brian still been there and they need to help and serve. So for decades of continued service to the children in the Marktown Historic District while working at the Marktown Community Center. We thank you for your service. All right, all right. And just let me, let me toss in one other thing. She was my babysitter when I grew up, all right? There were actually about 12 of them because none of them lasted long. Uh, if you ever want to go to rain, follow when she gets here. Great. Guys, I got to tell you, it was a great morning, a great day. Uh, it would be a greater day as it goes on. I enjoyed seeing all the people on the tour. It was a great tour and I uh, really enjoyed it. So thank you very much. Oh. We're going to welcome back Kim Rodriguez. She has another um, award. Don't go nowhere, Paul. Okay, um, first I'd like to thank everyone who made this event possible and for our mayor for being here. Um, I should have done that before, but I'm nervous. Okay. Um, but Paul is a very good historian. He knows everything there is to know about Markdown. So we thought he deserved a plan. Presented to Paul Myers, Marktown historian, for all your knowledge and dedication to make the Marktown Centennial Celebration 1917 to 2017 a great event. for coming out to this uh, historic event um, in this historic community. And again, we welcome you to enjoy the food, the bouncy houses, and good have um, nice family fun. Enjoy. Thank you so much.